What's going on, Raider Nation? So, uh, they have released the injury report for the Raiders for Wednesday. I know it was just a walkthrough, but there are some promising things, and there are also some very interesting things on this injury report. Um, 16 in total reported. Um, before we get into that, I just want to say once again, thank you guys for checking us out. We really and truly do appreciate it, and if you like and subscribe, you're going to help out the channel immensely, and uh, comment below on your thoughts on the injury report overall. Also, be on the lookout for Yankee Chatter, East Coast Nation Podcast, live interviews with Big Tuna, and the uh, Raider Packer Hybrid Show. Um, during the weekends, uh, on Sunday, uh, you know, when uh, Bradder gets back from his work, he's actually opening up a fourth store. He's turning himself into a mini McDonald's. Um, so, when he gets back, we will be there talking about the games before they go. So, like I said, the injury report here is getting to be a long list. And there are some guys in here that are expected not to be on here and or to be on here. And there's some guys that are a little bit of a surprise that they're on here. Um, today was just a walkthrough, it looked like. No pads, you know. But still, having all these guys not be there or come back just makes it just tough to really, really have a team that can be presentable against the Bills. Because the Bills are a good team. And I know they're traveling to Vegas, but, you know, let's not forget last year they had a better record on the road than they did at home, which is just crazy to me. But sometimes that works. Bills Mafia is messing them all up while they're at home. All right, let's start from the beginning. They do an alphabetical order. Uh, first was Jonathan Abram with a shoulder slash thumb. He was limited. I think he's going to play. Uh, Damon Arnett was wrist slash thumb. Did not participate. We already know he's not going to be in this week. Trent Brown is calf. He did not participate. Another week of not having Trent Brown there. Not good, but more than likely not going to play. Brian Edwards, a new guy to the list. He got hurt in the game. You know, obviously his foot slash ankle still bothering him, so he did not practice. Rico Gafford, a new name. Hamstring did not practice. Denzel Good, thumb, he practiced. Jonathan Hankins practiced with a shoulder injury. Alec Ingold practiced with an ankle injury. Josh Jacobs practiced with a knee injury. Right here is a little bit of a promising thing. Nick Witowski was finally limited in practice. Uh, he was not straight out of practice. He was limited, so his rehab is going quick, as we all thought it would. Corey Littleton, uh, kind of a new name here. He was uh, limited in practice. Daniel Ross, he had a foot injury. He did not practice. Uh, Henry Ruggs, his knee, he did not practice. John Simpson, shoulder, he was a full participant. Darren Waller, knee, he was a full participant. And then Sam Young, uh, the backup to Trent Brown, was limited, but he was there. All right, so pretty much we know that Damon Arnett, Brian Edwards, and Henry Ruggs are long shots to play this week, which is not good for the receiving core, especially because Rico Gafford, is also limited, so there might be a possibility we might see them bring up Aitman, maybe even Keelan Doss. Uh, I believe they're both still on the practice squad, so let's hope they're ready to go. Um, I do think Abram's going to play, you know, Denzel Good, Hankins, Ingold, Waller, um, you know, I think they're all going to play. Simpson should play. Uh, Sam Young, we really don't know. I mean, we really don't know with him. Uh, Nick Witowski, I think, is probably a week to two weeks away. Corey Littleton, I think, will play. He's been playing pretty well, in my opinion. Um, you know, guys like Daniel Ross, I'm not 100% sure. Rico Gafford, I'm not 100% sure. But I, I do think that we're not going to have Damon Arnett, Trent Brown, Brian Edwards and Henry Ruggs for this week, which is going to be going to be a tall task for the backups, but you got to have that uh, you know next man mentality, 
And you know that, you know, John Gruden preaches that. So, you know, if those guys can't go, obviously we're going to have to bring in a couple wide receivers as depth, you know, because you can't just have Aguilar, Zay Jones, Hunter Renfro. That, that's it, because, you know, Rico Gaff- Nelson Aguilar, but because, like, Rico Gafford, Henry Ruggs, and Brian Edwards are out, so they got to bring somebody in if all those receivers can't play. I'm um, guessing, like I said, either Marcel Aitman or Keelan Doss, especially if they're still on the practice squad. So we'll see what happens there. Not great news from the Raider uh, injury report front. 16 names on there. Hopefully it gets a little bit less for tomorrow on Thursday, but let's just hope this injury bug kind of slows down for not just the Raiders, for everybody in the NFL. So we'll see what happens. You know, not great news, but still it's news on the Las Vegas Raiders front, so we got to report it. Um, That's what we got for you today. So like I said in the beginning, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it so much. Help out the channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and also, uh, you know, commenting below about your thoughts of this injury report. Yankee Chatter, East Coast Nation podcast, live interviews with Big Tuna, and the Sunday Raiders-Packers kickoff once Bradder comes back from being a restaurant entrepreneur. Uh, we'll get that going as well. So we'll see you guys soon. Enjoy your day. And as always, let's go Raiders.